you think should happen with the short term spending? Do well, you think Dems should support it? I mean, look, I think we it, two of the big things that we wanted are in this bill. I mean, it is a big win that it is 2023 levels. That is what we've said from the very beginning. And that it doesn't contain any poison pills. And so I think those are very significant wins for us. I have had concerns about dividing up the, um, the, the, you know, the continuing resolution into two and separating it. To me, that makes no sense. I, I think the only reason Speaker Johnson is doing this is because he needs to give a bone to the Freedom Caucus. I worry that it's two fiscal cliffs, but I think we're going to have to weigh um, the fact that the Senate seems to have not acted. And so I think I think it's a very big win that, that it's 2023 levels and nothing else. Uh, I'm going to wait to see. I need to hear from my caucus as well. We're going to have a meeting today at the Progressive Caucus, and I kind of want to hear what people have to say before I make a final decision. But um, I think we have been clear that their mega extremist agenda is not going to fly and that they need Democrats to pass anything. That is very clear. Do you, Do you think that there's any chance that Israel or Ukraine aid could get attached at the last minute, given the fact that Johnson needs Democratic support? I don't think so. Did, did you view the October 7th video this morning? I know all House members. Why didn't you go to that? Uh, I, I was doing other stuff, but uh, obviously I've been meeting with hostage families and continuing to do that. Um, in fact, I have another meeting today with a, with a family of hostages, and I think it's really important that we all continue to focus on uh, what happened on October 7th, getting the hostages back, and what the best plan is moving forward, as well as the um, you know, the incredible loss of life that we're seeing in Gaza and the violations of international humanitarian law that Israel is, is currently, in my view, committing when it bombs hospitals, when uh, such a huge number of innocent civilians are at loss. This is a tragic situation for Israelis, for Palestinians, for the world to be watching. And I think um, it's going to require a lot of work to move forward, and I hope the Biden administration quickly calls for a ceasefire or, at minimum, a cessation of hostilities so that we can start to negotiate how to get the hostages back, how to get humanitarian aid in, and how to have a lasting political situation where Israelis and Palestinians can truly live together, not just saying the words two-state two solution, but actually getting to a political agreement that allows for peace in the Middle East. Thank you. Thank you.